kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development and so guys in this video I will teach you how to create a chat application interface I mean we will be using the bubble view okay of the chat application so let me show you a demo first so let's open our Android phone let's connect it okay and let's open that again and here you can see that we have this user one and user 2 ok and here in our in, inside our edit text so let's draw it a message hey how are you alright and if I click on send here you can see that the message is displayed ok and this type of image is called 9 patch images ok so you can uh, generate the 9 patch images ok here in, you can search for that but in uh, as I will upload the, the this code to the online okay and I will provide the link of my code so you can get all the code and also the drawable okay these images from the link so let's go back okay so let's here type another message so uh, this time the small message okay so you can see that it is automatic the size of the bubble is automatically adjusted okay and let's say I create a big message okay and if we click on send here you can see okay so basically let's I will teach you how to do that okay so let's go down to our Android studio and here first of all let me show you the drawable folder okay here I have two images bubble in 9 and bubble out 9 okay so we will be using the bubble out 9 in this uh, demo okay so what we can do so now in the drawable I have shown you and after that we let's talk about our interface okay basically our main activity here we have list view okay and this is the edit text and a button okay so whenever the user will will enter any input message here and when he will click on send button so the bubble message will be displayed here all right so how can we do that so first of all uh, you you need to create your layout okay after that what you need to do is you need to copy these two images here okay in our in your drawable folder okay after that what you need to do is uh, since in this video we are only to only talking about the right child uh, chat bubble okay this one okay so first of all you need to create uh, a new layout okay from new layout resource file okay after that let's go down to, uh, to convert to text view and here you can see that okay parent and crew alright so first of all you need uh, a relative layout after that you need a linear layout okay so inside that what you need is you need to use the align parent and to true and after that you need a background okay which will be having the drawable bubble out after that you just need uh, a text view inside that okay so this will be our file or you can say custom layout okay after that what you need to do is you need to uh, create a new class okay a uh, new java class okay and in here you need to create a chat bubble class inside our chat bubble class what we are we have is only a string okay the text which we want to display onto the uh, here okay so yeah there is the this is the uh, constructor here uh, of chat bubble class and after that we have a get method get content okay this is a simple class and after creating this class what you need to do is you need to go to your main activity and inside that activity what you need is you need to initialize the, your views okay so since these are the three views list view uh, uh, button and edit text okay and inside that inside your own create method you just need to initialize those uh, 
okay views and after that what you need to do is you need to initialize your uh, a list okay which of type chat bubble and also the array adapter of type chat bubble okay it means that they will contain the chat bubble object and after that don't uh, do this okay after this thing what you need to do is you need to create a new class of type of uh, the name message adapter okay so just create this class and what you need here is okay so let's if we remove that okay we cannot remove that so what you need uh, here is first of all you need to extend it with array adapter okay of type chat bubble all right and after that you need an activity class uh, object here and um, a, uh, an array list okay of type chat bubble and after that you need uh, a constructor inside that you first of all need the context then in the source and also you need the array list of objects okay so I, inside that you just need to uh, set it okay y using this dot activity equals to context and this dot messages equals to objects all right and after that you need to go down to your get view method okay you need to override that and inside that you need a view holder and then you need to inflate your layout okay using this and after that you need a chat bubble you need to get the item okay at the specific position and this position will be coming from that and after that you just need to set it okay and you need to use the holder and you need to initialize the view holder after that you need to create a new view holder class and inside that you just need a text view okay and inside the, that you just need to initialize the text view after that you need you have a method that get view type count and you just need to return to and after that you need uh, also need to override the method get item view uh, view type and you also you need to write re return position and to all right guys so after completing this activity or uh, class uh, and then you need to just initialize your array adapter of type chat bubble and inside that you just need to provide first of all this and then the layout of your custom layout and then the array list okay of type chat web bubble in okay so it will be empty on when the application will run all right and after that you just need to set the adapter and now what we can need to do is when the, when the user input any num any text inside that okay then he, if he clicks on the send button so what you need to do is you need to check if the edit text is empty or not if the edit text is empty just print the message and otherwise you need to first of all create a, a chat bubble class and inside that you need to um, you need to uh, send the uh, input the user has just input it okay so uh, this will be coming from the edit text okay and after that you need just need to add that object of chat bubble and then you need to just write adapter the dot notify data set change and finally you you just need to use edit text dot set text to empty all right guys so that is it if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye